10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition. And liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket, launching a new era in spaceflight to the moon and beyond. Good SRBs, hitting peak pressure on the SRBs. Everything looking good. And we've got pitching yaw programs in, coming into normal rates for that event. We have good hydraulic pressure on both engines. Good chamber pressure on both engines, everything looking good. Coming up on 60 seconds into the flight, everything looking good. Two good engines, two good SRBs. Body rates look good, nice and smooth. And we've hit our first throttle point on the BE-4, is everything looking good? And we have passed through Mach 1, we are now supersonic, coming up on max Q. With that max dynamic pressure, everything looking good, we're rolling off on the SRBs. And we have cutoff on the SRBs, coming up on jettison in approximately 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to SRB jet, BE-4s continue to operate nominally. Seeing expected PU activity on the boost remains. And we have separation of both SRBs, everything looking good. BE-4s continue to operate normally. Coming up on two minutes into the mission, we are now 17 miles in altitude. We just heard confirmation of solid rocket booster jettison. We have about three minutes until we reach our next mission event, booster engine cutoff. And we see booster PU correcting towards a nominal MR, everything looking good. Both engines continue to burn normally. And we now weigh approximately half of our liftoff weight. Everything looking good. And we fired the pyro valve, activating the reaction control system. On the upper stage, pressures are rising. As expected, PE4 continues to operate normally. Vehicles continue to fly down the center of the range track, everything looking good. 33 miles in altitude, 52 miles downrange, traveling at 4,000 miles per hour. Continue to see excellent performance out of the BE-4s. Chamber pressure nice and smooth. Vehicle steadily accelerating, a little over 2 Gs at this time. Good body rates. Nice and smooth operation of the booster. 47 miles in altitude, 95 miles downrange at 5,500 miles per hour. Engines continue to burn normally. Everything looking good. And the vehicle now weighs one quarter of its liftoff weight as we pass through the Carmen line. Next mark event we're looking for is boost phase chill down on the Centaur main engines. Booster mains continue to operate normally. And we've begun boost phase chill. Housing temps are dropping as expected.
coming up to the end of the boost phase. Approximately 10 seconds to BICO. Throttle down in preparation for BICO. We've completed boost phase chill down. And we have cutoff. Coming up on Vulcan Centaur separation. We have Vulcan Centaur separation. Everything looking good. Coming up on the Centaur phase. And experiencing a bit of data loss here. We've recovered the data. Looks like the Centaur engines are up and running normally. Good steady state pressure. And we've just jettisoned the payload fairing. Two good brake wires. Good steady state operating levels on the Centaur mains. Two good engines. We've gone to open loop control on Centaur PU. This is Vulcan Mission Control at T plus 5 minutes 57 seconds. We just heard flight commentator Rob Gannon confirm the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. Our next event, main engine cutoff, will occur in about 10 minutes. ULA's inaugural Vulcan rocket lifted off on its first flight test at 2.18.38 a.m. Eastern, and all systems continue to operate nominally. minute one second burn and we've begun pressurizing the propellant tanks in preparation for second burn Coming up on LH2 pre-start. LH2 pre-start. This is Vulcan Mission Control at T plus 43 minutes, 8 seconds. Coming up next is the second main engine start of ULA's Centaur upper stage. Let's listen in. Change to the start position. Everything looking good. About 15 seconds to mess. We have ignition, full thrust, two good engines, everything looking good. This is Vulcan Mission Control at T plus 43 minutes 57 seconds. As we approach Peregrine separation, let's learn more about the first spacecraft to launch in NASA's new CLPS initiative to have American companies send its science experiments to the moon. This is Vulcan Mission Control at T plus 47 minutes, 8 seconds. We're a few seconds from the second main engine cutoff. Here's Rob Gannon. 30 seconds to nominal Miko. Twenty seconds. And we're going to open loop on PU. Coming up on cutoff. We have cutoff. Everything is looking good. And we are now in a 2 minute 49 second coast phase of spacecraft separation. We've got full settling going after MECO. And we're reorienting to spacecraft sub attitude.
And continue to maneuver to our mess two attitude. And we're inside a minute and a half to spacecraft separation. Body rates are nulling out. And this mission does call for a uh, roll spin for spacecraft separation of half a degree per second. We'll be starting that maneuver shortly. This is Vulcan Mission Control at T plus 50 minutes, 10 seconds. Vulcan has executed all mission events expected, and we are now approaching delivery of the astrobotic Peregrine Commercial Lunar Lander into a highly elliptical orbit, more than 220,000 miles above Earth to intercept the moon. Let's we return to flight commentator Rob Gannon as we approach separation. We are spinning down. And we are now in a 28-minute uh, coast period, the third burn of Centaur. This is Vulcan Mission Control at T plus one hour, 11 minutes. ULA's production campus in Decatur, Alabama recently underwent significant changes to accommodate increased manufacturing capability. Let's take a look at the progress made in 2023.
LH2 pre-start. This is Vulcan Mission Control at T plus one hour, 17 minutes. We're coming up on our next mission events. Let's listen in as we approach the third and final engine burn. LO2 pre-start. PU to start position. Coming up on mess three, this will be a 20 second burn. Ignition, full thrust. Both engines are up and running. We've now achieved Earth escape. Coming up on cutoff. Cut off. Right on time. Everything was nominal. And with the completion of this Earth escape burn, this concludes the commentary for the flight of VC-1.